Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper. Coming to you from the studio. My patio. Oh, it's been a week or so since I've been on. Uh, actually, uh, spent most of the day Saturday in the shop making a pipe. I'm still working on it. I'm not happy with the stem. The stems, I don't have any of the pre-made stems that are shorter. This is a pot that I'm working on. So i um, been working on some different stain uh, processes and whatnot. So it's just not where I want it to be yet. Shaping is good. I like the shaping on it. But um, anyways, just been in the shop working on it. I'm just debating whether or not I want to try my uh, luck at a hand hand cut stem just because of the size I want, which is going to delay the finishing of the pipe. So anyways, um, this video is for base Piper Wade and uh, I'm all bundled up here just because there was a little breeze going on. I'm starting to warm up in the sun. Um, Wade, listen, buddy, love your channel. Congratulations on the subs hitting the 250 mark and doing the gaw. I am sure uh, those are already uh, elevated, but um, I am smoking an Esteban Carrera Chupacabra. And uh, uh, today I've been smoking uh, my Tuesday pipe is my uh, coconut. Savinelli 602 coconut and um, over the weekend I was smoking some Kamoy's number four flake and uh, did some I packaged up a big box of backy going to Ireland and I had a little bit of lane one Q left over so I basically just mixed that in with some of the Kamoy's so I got me a little vapor early aromatic going and I don't know what it is lately but ever since I've been smoking the uh, vanilla roll cake and mixing it with the dark fire which brings up I'm a little frustrated I've got orders that have been out there it, it feels like two weeks that I have not received there's got to be I mean there's pipes tobacco everything coming tools and it's just like nothing's hitting the door. Uh, Denver, uh, pretty much everything that comes from the west of us, which is most of the stuff I've ordered, goes through Dallas. And Dallas is just still buried uh, from being down as long as it's been down. So I'm hoping stuff shows up soon. I'll be doing videos of that. Sorry, Wade. I didn't mean to get distracted on that. Um, but Wade was wanting uh, a video or a presenter that... Um, we like to watch, made us laugh, impressed us uh, in some fashion. And I, I have to say, you know, there's just so many. Um, I've made so many great friendships in the YTPC, and I could go on for days picking and choosing and talk about my buds. But the one that stands out um, is Mike at Briar Blues. Um don't really want to seem like I'm on the bandwagon. I was just watching OBX Piper, and he mentions Mike as well. But um, I have been fortunate enough to uh, be able to break bread with Mike, hang out with him. And I will tell you, what you see is what you get. Probably the most generous... Uh, individual in the YTPC from a lot of different fronts. Um, you know, uh, just from the standpoint of the knowledge that he shares, um, the help that he's given me personally, uh, not on just pipe recommendations, but he has, he's posted several pipes um, and he's bought a few pipes from me or, or a couple of pipes from me. So I just love my relationship with him, uh, wealth of knowledge, and what a hoot, man. Um, great sense of humor. 
and that's just magnified when you're uh, you're you're with them in real life. Um, but Mike, myself, and Andrew Sirigliano was able. We we're basically hung out together for like two and a half days at the uh, last Las Vegas West Coast Pipe Show in Las Vegas. But um, just a great guy. So Mike, listen, much love, bro. Um, Wade, congratulations. And uh, with that, we'll say Mel Harris, garbage man piper, sweet chicken baby, y'all be safe out.